How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. If you don't know, there was recently a hotfix for Halo 5. The big thing about that hotfix is that it fixed up the battle rifle. And in this video I'm going to go over some of the quick changes and things like that that I went over with. And hopefully in this gameplay we'll get a good sense of you know, what actually changed with this bad boy. Oh, that's a good snipe shot to start off with. But we're going to be using the battle rifle for most of this. So if you don't know... Uh, or haven't been playing Halo much lately. Um, the game is uh, a lot of, there was some changes that were made to the weapons, and uh, some of them not so favorable by the community. As in, uh, definitely one of those changes that people did not like was the battle rifle. And so essentially, 343 kind of just went back on everything they did when the changes, and pretty much fixed the battle rifle. And that is my first game back on Halo 3, Halo 5, so it's been quite a while. But, uh, so I figured I'd jump into big team battle because you start out with a battle rifle, get a chance to actually get some hands on experience with this bad boy. Oh, I'm always getting killed there. So, basically, so I'm gonna list off some of the things that they changed up. One, they increased the rate of fire, which is desperately needed because I, I was getting outshot horribly by just like the Magnum by itself. Like, I would get like two, maybe three bat bursts off, and someone could perfect me with a uh, with a Magnum, and that's just no bueno. We can't have that. I wish I was using a battle rifle for that one. And they, uh, they increased the vertical recoil on this weapon. And somehow I didn't get that kill. Ugh. Must have just hit his shoulder instead of the head. So they increased the rate of fire. Uh, they actually increased how close the weapon is. Oh, wrong game. How close the weapon is to the screen. So you might see it looks a lot closer than uh, you might expect. It. Ooh, there we go. Uh, that was another thing they boosted up, actually was uh, the they actually boosted the damage a little bit on this weapon as well. Uh, they said to make it so a little easier to clean up kills and stuff like that. And so we'll see how that is. I think I kind of definitely played a part with that last kill I got. Uh, so yeah, they increased the recoil. They removed the randomness of the bullet spread as well. And so then it's going to be pinpoint accurate. Kind of like how it was previously, but it's going to be adding a lot more recoil. As you can see, uh, from my shooting that even even crouched there's a lot more recoil to this gun which is probably a good thing to help kind of put it back in place it's really what they really really needed to do it's just uh oh he has a sweet nade it's just uh they're a nice little double is um you know increase the recoil if you're gonna make it more of a mid-range kind of thing because uh put and randomness your gun fights it's something that's never good in any game like i know last some last game i heard that Every game I've heard that does this, they just get flagged from their community. Uh, so definitely like in Destiny with the hand cannons, how they get a random bullet spread, so they call them go ghost bullets. And so, it was kind of, it might aim a shot perfectly, but you'll still die. Or still, you aim a shot perfectly and won't get the kill or something like that. Which is certainly just something you just do not want in, uh, in your shooter. There's quite a bit of recoil on those guns. I'm just kind of hanging out here, but they keep them flying in front of me. Like, what else am I going to do? Not, like, run out in the open and get shot, you know? <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, those are the changes to the battle rifle. Hopefully, they uh, make things a little bit better for this weapon. So it's a little more competitive, I would say, in the scheme of things compared to what it was after the patch, where basically they got nerfed so hard, people just, like, opted just to not even bother using it. And so, hopefully, the battle rifle is a little more balanced, yet uh, better for the game itself. To kind of fit the role a little bit better here. Oh! I did outplay that guy with an assault rifle, though, so the assault rifle's still good. <laughs> That's for sure. Get this rocket launcher here. Sorry, buddy, I had to steal that from you. Because I had to get that kill! Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. Hop gun, alright. I'll take that. Does that mean you kill the number one guy right when you get that medal? Been a while. A little blurry on that. A little fuzzy on that memory there. The guy right below me here. Let's see. Oh, teammates cleaned them up. Okay. We're just playing Slayer on this one, so no worries about it when it comes to playing the objective. The objective is to not die. And then other objective is to get make the other team die. <laughs> That's the most lame man way to put it. <laughs> Is he down here? There we go. So yeah, crispy, crispy shot right there. 
Crispy. That's a kill frenzy there, people. There we go. Look at that little turnaround action right there. See, that's powerful. It's starting to feel a bit more crispy. And I like that. I like it when the battle rifle can get kills. Oh, come on. Get you, buddy. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. See, like, I, that's, the, that's the thing you gotta do with the weapons and pretty much any shooter, really. You gotta just make it so when you aim, it hits. <laughs> Sounds like a weird concept, but putting randomization in your accuracy is not a way to balance out your weapon. Because it's just going to leave it up to the player you know, being frustrated by not gaining the kills. 16 and 5 for first game back in a long time. Not too shabby. Let's get into another game here. Oh shoot, I've been streaming the entire time, not recording. Ah. Son, are you gonna try to spar and charge me? Cause you know it's just not gonna work out. Snag my freaking kill there! I had that little hermit crab to dead the rights. Oh, we're in the base now. Let's see if we can get this flag cap here. Is he my friend? Oh no! There's a double. On this vehicle, my aim wasn't the best, but it was alright. I'm hanging in there. Let's get this guy in the, in the little tunnels here. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Spartan charge. I hate you, but sometimes you just gotta use it. There we go. Nice little cleanup kill there. Look, check this out. Look at this right here. Like, this is a return the battlefield zone right here. Like, come on, man. Let me use that to my advantage. Like that. Like, why is that so advantageous where like, you have to lock that off? Like, come on, man. Oh, no. Like, I should have had that guy, man. Can't get over here. That guy needs to go down. Like that. There we go. Alright, we're invisible now. Let's go into this base and get that flag. At least move it out of there. What can we sneak up on this guy? I want to get an assassination kill on him. Shoot. Did he see me? I really hope he didn't. Alright, we're going. We're moving for it. We're going! No! No, no! No, you don't see me! You don't see me! Oh. They, they, they definitely saw me. There's one. There's a guy over here trying to come back to get me, isn't he? Little saucy little doll, dog over here. No, oh, my aim is so bad though! Ah! Look at that crispy little shot right there. Like I lined it up perfectly. That was kind of a mid-range kind of shot. That's how it's supposed to work when it comes to the battle rifle. But I definitely noticed the recoil change. Like it's way more squirrely than it was previously. But I'd say it's probably for the best. Oh no, you're not gonna get that sniper, buddy. Mm mm. That's my sniper now. Oh no! I thought I had him! Oh, I was going for a nice little triple right there. I know I said I'd be using just the battle rifle, but come on, man, it's the sniper rifle. It's the sniper rifle. Gotta use it when you can, man. Anyway, let's try to flank around this left side here. Get a nice little surprise attack on him. I could have sworn I had at least one extra shot hit that guy in the head. That seems a little funky. It could have been just through the recoil. You can see like the recoil pattern here. It kind of goes up. And so it kind of leaves a pattern of like one. The way it leaves a... Oh shoot. No, no, no. Oh, I got lucky there. Like, <laughs> well, saying that it shoots a single shot. It goes like one, two, three kind of thing. Where before it was just kind of random circular kind of spread. And that's what was screwing up everybody's aim before. Now they kind of have a nice linear uh, grouping of uh, bolts. No! You invisible jerk. And we got the win! There we go. Guys, right, we're in another match here. I just kind of started in progress here, so 
see what happens. Oh, well, that's that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get sniped in the face. <laughs> Pressure burn. That's why that fly was kind of hanging out there. But hey, I got I got excited. I see flappy things and I just want to grab them. That that came out really really weird. There we go. Look at that nice long range shot there. I was crouching for that, which does reduce the recoil on your uh, battle rifle shot. So keep that in mind next time you're uh, playing. That's if you want to hit some long range shots, you gotta crouch, man. It reduces that recoil. There's a guy. He's still camping back here with a turret. I think my shots just stopped counting. There we go. Nice little kill right there. So even my teammate walked in front of my shot and I was still able to get the kill. But you know, you definitely increased damage on it. Rip in peace there, buddy. Look at that. Another one. The new age noob combo, by the way, it's like to like call this the brute plasma rifle, and then you switch to your battle rifle, or you just punch them. You can do that too. It usually works pretty well. Oh, they're mad. They're coming for me. I said, just come at me, bro. You know, I got time. I got, I'm, I'm a patient player, man. I can do this. Twenty minutes later. That's nice, okay. I'm a little impatient now. Let's move around here a little bit. That's a kill and spree. There we go. He's one shot in the face. That guy nearly just stuck me right there. And I got him with that range with the blue puzzle rifle. There you go. Alright, well, so we have five minutes left in this match. I figure I got, you know, I got a few games in. I figure I'd give my opinion on what, how this battle rifle is playing out right now. And I'd say it's playing out very well. Uh, like, it's, my bullets are going where I'm aiming. That's an important thing. For some reason, that seems like to be an odd strategy to go, bolts, a bold strategy to go with there, Cotton. But, uh, this game they're actually, like, you know, working, which is nice. Um, and I just think that, uh, overall they've done a pretty good job. The recoil is a lot more squirrely at, uh, but, so, but it really comes through on mid, uh, the mid-longer range stuff. Though, I don't know if it really necessarily, uh, affects uh, arena play too much, since that's a much more smaller, close-quarter kind of map design for 4v4. Obviously, I'm just playing big team battle, and um, we'll definitely come back to if I ever do a live commentary with I'm doing some arena gameplay. Oh, jeez, this is not good at all. No, at least I got them with a nade though. <laughs> but I don't think uh, this will affect the rain, affect the gameplay in arena a whole lot. I mean, if you're trying to cross map somebody, like say like on um, on like Heretic or something like that, then I would say. Yeah, that's probably not going to work out well too well for you. But, um, like definitely mid, close range. The bio rifle is back, baby. And that's great. It's great to see that back in the action. I'm excited to play around with this. Keep playing this a little more. Look at that right there. He's got a perfect on that guy right there. And I was kind of like on the move. He was kind of on the move as well. Chains were going a little crazy. And yeah, the bio rifle's back, baby. It's back. And yeah, I think they balanced it. They finally got the right kind of balance of just. You know, give it a little more kick, and so then it's a little less accurate over range. That's all they really needed to do. And I'm pretty sure that's what, like, pro players recommended to do for the battle rifle as well, but the uh, 343 decided to take it a little step further and just do, like, a really complicated way to bounce things out with this weapon. Sometimes, you know, you gotta keep it simple, stupid kind of thing. You know what I mean? And I think they did a great job. Uh, the battle rifle's back, man. I'm excited to play a little more Halo 5 now. Get back into the swing of things when it comes to 
Halo creation and all that stuff. Definitely try to grab my way up on the uh, more arena playlist. Cause right now I'm like a platinum, I'm a high platinum four right now, and I'd really like to see if I can get the diamond before uh, the end of this month. But we'll see, I guess. But yeah, if you guys are uh, new to the channel, you can always do you can always hit subscribe because we're always out playing awesome Halo Five and Destiny Two content on this channel right now. Uh, I'm currently for Halo content I'm doing a series where it's uh. Halo, make Halo great again, 343. Look at that. Snappy little shot right there. It's great, man. Uh, so I'm just doing like a 20 part series of how to make Halo the best it could possibly be. Because we all love Halo. We all want to see it shine and do the best it can. Some people have their own way of doing it, though. And uh, if you enjoy these kind of videos, want to see more videos like this one, then make sure to tap that like button so you want to see more content like this. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys saw of the video. I do reply. I do see all the comments, and I uh, try to apply them most of them as well. Huh! No! Dang it! Why did... Uh, mm. That was a fail. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, the thoughts on the battle rifle, yeah, and it's it's working out really well. It's playing, I think, how it really should be playing out as. So I would say that it was a bit too much of a laser beam at long range. Like, I'm still getting... Rain, you know, decent rain shots like that while things are on the move and stuff. It's working out well. I really like what it did, and uh, hopefully 343 can continue on tweaking, making the tweaks, fine tweaks to this game to really have it shine and be the best it can possibly be. And I'm really excited for the get the chance to play more Halo. Really, that's about it, really. Oh, that was a nice pickup. Come on, you gotta give me that one. There's another one, and we won the game! There we go. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, the BR, it's back, baby. It's back. It's good. Get, yeah, if you've been missing, if it kind of threw you off from playing a little Halo 5 because of the tweaking to the battle rifle, you know, jump back in, give it a go. I guarantee you'll like the changes. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.